Welcome to Rock Tambayan, where we talk about what happened in the show and basically anything under the sun. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's on the spot. Anyway. Winging it. Winging so it. everyone go, I'm blah, and random fact about yourself. Uh, character or person? Person, person. <laughs> oh, okay. It's like a gen. What? It's not my episode. Yeah, go, go, go. <laughs> I'm Jan, and uh, I'm fairly new to D and D. I don't know. Midge. <laughs> I'm Midge, and um, I, I don't know what's going on most of the time. <laughs> Dish. I'm Tish, and yeah, I'm also new to D and D, but I try to like do my best in everything. Go. Yeah. <laughs> Don't we all? Great. <laughs> I'm Jr. And this is coffee. This is not ale. <laughs> cool. Could be both. <laughs> yeah, oh, because like, it's a tap no, part, no. so ale. Anyway, if you're wondering where everyone else is, like the, the, their their tagged special guest in the in the credit roll for a reason, because they're you know, um, they're special. This is your and cast. Yes. So this special is your us. cast, and we well uh, we're uh, today we're talking about the first and second episode. Technically, if you're watching in YouTube or the first. Yeah. Stream if you're watching on Twitch. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but yeah, um, that's why it's confusing. So the reason we wanted to do one hour blocks in YouTube instead of your typical D and D show, which is like you know four hours, because you're probably spending your four hours a week watching Crit Roll, and you probably don't have another four hours to <laughs> spare on other people. You know, so I, I, I or you, or maybe you do, but. In which case, you can just watch the show two times. On. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get your more hope. Just spam it. Just spam. yeah, but that, but that's the point of why we were trying why we're trying to make the show shorter. The actual recording of the show is actually proper D and D length, which is like three four hours. It's just that we yeah. wanted to condense something in a format that's digestible. Bite size, bite size, bite, bite size. size, fun size, <laughs> bite fun size. So future future stuff might actually be just one hour a week. So you're not like I don't have two hours a week for this <laughs> show. I just have one. I don't know. And if you have more than if you have actually have two hours a week, then watch it twice. <laughs> it's just, just gonna be the joke forever. I don't know. So yeah. So the point of this show is because because um with, with that format. The the main show is like no one really gets to talk out of character. Well, they do, but we also want to keep it short and simple. But like, there's like enough out of character stuff, but there's like not enough that you would know people's personalities, etc. So this is the Tambayan episode, which is just everyone talking as themselves and not as their characters. But we do have topics, and this week's topic is the. The Kiana the episode, so we will be talking about Kiana, but as ourselves, not as the characters. I explained that really well. <laughs> yeah, whatever the DM said, we, we're I'm, good. We're I'm doing proud it of myself. the DM said. Anyway. So. <laughs> that's, that's actually great. <laughs> um, but 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 yeah. Um, We're gonna be um, talking about the uh, the episode. So if you want to know more about the Kiana episode and how it's done, let's start with the chapters of it, which is s- someone, you know, someone, someone be the bangka, not me. <laughs> <laughs> so because <laughs> I already talk a lot in the main show. Also, I do know that I could have said host, but I. I didn't not not know the term host, but uh, you know we wanted to use bangka because it's a Filipino show. Why do we use the term bangka? I always thought it was like you ride on something, so. So that's why the, the person the hosting going, is the bangka. No, like, it's, it's or is it a or is a is, is it a gambling term? It's a card game term. 
that oh? just it's a card just, game. that just like when morphed. Pusoy in oh, yeah. Pusoy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The three players are going against the banka. banka. But like it just evolved. I guess into... that means bank. Because when you gamble, right? You 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 but play. But it could have been banco bank. if it's bank, right? Maybe, maybe. But, but maybe yeah, not, but it, it does know. make sense. But in Pusoy. Yeah, but but then that term evolved into like when you're just talking in someone's um taking charge of the conversation. I wouldn't say taking leading. charge, but leading, leading the conversation, or or like you know, if we're if in a, in a drinking session <clears throat> and someone's you know doing all the stories or the jokes, then essentially hosting. <laughs> so. Oh wait, in a in an in Oman in a drinking session, Banka is the guy that passes on passes everyone the drinks. Oh, no, no, turn. that's Shut. the that's the. Oh, sorry, Tangero. Tangero, sorry. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh. Learning, you guys are learning a lot. We can talk about like even the intro video because it's. <laughs> oh, oh, we did a shoot for that. Um, for anyone who's curious, that is Parks and Wildlife, which is which photographers dub as the national photo studio. Because <laughs> like everyone just shoot. That's like the default shooting space for anyone on a budget. Mm-hmm. And yeah. everyone was there. The whole cast, even Mitch. Yeah, even <laughs> I was there. Even Mitch was totally not photoshopped. <laughs> yeah, totally not. <laughs> the intro video is very the whole music thing. It's just yeah, it, it it has a very Filipino feel, but it's also kind of fantasy epic. I kind I like the fantasy epics, right? Yeah, yeah. I actually want to make like proper our own music one day, but we could Let's and I it. could have if mm-hmm. I had the time. Mm-hmm. But like we have the means, the skills, but not the time. <laughs> <laughs> Give this man a, his time, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, we'll do that one one day, maybe season two or three. I don't know. Oh. Anyway, um, yes, next. We get a season two. Hopefully, I mean, why not? Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> We're getting a season. When you created your character, did you? Sorry, question for Tish. Um, just popped in my head. Were were you? Did you have a specific location in mind, or you just describe what what was your idea on how to, where you came from, where the character came from? Mm, I'm like a huge RPG fan, so I mm-hmm. was kind of basing it from a game called Alterior Iris. So like, oh uh, no. Was it Altier Aries? It was Altier Totori. So, like, she lived in a small village also. Mm-hmm. And it was, like, a mainly a fishing village. It was really small, so like everyone knew each other. And she wanted to be an adventure for some other reasons. So, yeah, that was basically... But that's, like, any RPG. Mm-hmm. Almost any JRPG. I think the, mm-hmm. the reason that's the... That's a formula for JRPGs is because the most people play RPGs not just for the well the story of course but it's also the power progression and you really mm-hmm. yeah. feel the power progression if you start as small town nobody turning into world saving hero right so yeah yeah that's right. right so that was it what I didn't expect was I kind of didn't expect you to tell me like okay you start as a normie because usually when we do D D, right mm-hmm. uh we already have our class yeah yeah ready uh, at least level one or level two at the start but like no you're level one and you have a dagger that's it but it's oh okay, so it's when did stories. yeah when yeah. did when did jr tell you that um you're a commoner, like right before the sh- we <laughs> camera on or a day no, before, like uh... like five Minutes, before. five days. <laughs> <laughs> like I was getting ready with my character sheet, and then they was like, "Oh, by the way, you don't have any spells." I was like, "What?" Your powers? No, none of it. <laughs> Nothing. Human, well, get, human commoner. You get to keep your dagger, though. <laughs> okay. And so, uh, an armor? Oh, no, no, she doesn't wear armor. So like, she should have. She would have been able to kept her to keep her armor if she had armor, but she didn't. 
mm-hmm. and some weird necklace. Oh, but that's yeah. No, I think that's <laughs> that happened in the show, not before. Mm. Really? Yeah, mm. yeah. Remember? No, like it, it, it. I, I mentioned it in the show, so that was the first time <clears throat> she found out about it when I was mm. mentioning it as part of the kind of setup backstory thing. Mm-hmm. Mm. So what was that like, uh, Tish? Suddenly you're a human commoner. <laughs> what am I gonna do in this game? <laughs> common, I, I common feared things. common things. I feared for my life, and I was wondering, oh, oh shit, how will I fight? Do I just run every battle? <laughs> But yeah, well, what work? Stabbing things with daggers work. So Kiana leaves the village, decides to go on her journey because something about looking for her mother who was lost. She went missing. Does she like leaves the village every so often, but would usually come back every how many mm-hmm. days? But like for this particular like weeks, months, she's been missing for a long time. And Kiana was designed to have a very close mm-hmm. relationship with her mother, so it was odd for her to be missing for so long. And it's just the two of them in the hut. Mm-hmm. So. Just the two of them. <laughs> Sure, that's a song. Okay, time. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, yeah. He changed the so, lyrics. So we're not gonna get. <laughs> I mean, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're saying if you actually get flagged for anything in a-, a cappella in Twitch, it's like you're a really good singer. So we'll see, Mitch. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> challenge accepted. <laughs> She looks young, but she isn't a child. I, I remember you mentioned that. I'm not a child. You, you, <laughs> yeah, 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 she's not a child. She's she's old already, like legal legal age and everything. <laughs> well, the the legal age in pre-colonial times was probably ten, though. But <laughs> no, not ten. I I mean like <laughs> no, like because in 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 those um like in in like you know those times like yeah, yeah, yeah. you know people 14. were married at like. 12, I think. 12, 10, yes, 10, 10 right? or something. I'm pretty sure it's like, you know, something like that. But anyway, yeah, Kiana's like, for, for purposes of, you know, not having children in the game, she's at least 18. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so like, when she met Durog and everything, it was like, uh, kind of scary because she's like, she's used to her village, small village. Mm-hmm. Uh, everyone is human there. And Durog was just like, Huge, biggest person. Something. But still like, human. Still, it's still human. <laughs> like the person that she expected not to be human was the human in the group. Along with and, uh, the air convinces. Sure. Uh, <laughs> and then I, um, before you met the rest of the group, you met them because they pounced on the creature. You know, it was you who know. It was Kiana's. It was your character that noticed the. The, the aswang, yeah, the yeah. Malakat. The malakat. Uh, the malakat has actually. What would have... the 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 malakat is actually. Mm. So like they're kind of werewolf in in the, the in Filipino lore, werewolf but not like bipedal werewolf but the malakat at night. But wolf, yeah, yeah, yeah but... but with the face of the cat, with whiskers. With, yeah, with something. Yeah, so yeah, something like that. The the, the, the also the the. The images depicted in Sinauna are more stylized compared to the usual. Like we'll talk about mm, that that's right. to to the Amomongo episode. But yeah, it's like it might let, like p- people would typically just describe that as a monster dog. But then right. in Sinauna, it's like monster cat dog Medusa or something like that, right? So it's very all because different. of the hair. Yeah, and then uh, like again, the the main thing is like in in Sinauna, it just transforms into a regular dog. Like he's bantay in the morning and then malakat at night, versus in oh. in the usual lore where it's like can be a human that transforms into a killer dog at night, something like that. Mm. Cool, cool, cool. And so, Kiana rushed in to fight that one. What was she thinking? <laughs> What was she thinking? I mean, 
she had a dagger and I think like it's kind of she was prepared to know that she is gonna she can't avoid fighting mm-hmm. I mean how I played it was like I was always going like behind you or like trying mm. to cut through something and I'd only hit the creature when it was like right in front of me so I think yeah but was, you didn't like First, for a normie with no powers, you didn't run behind the tree. You you dove in to to stab with your dagger. That was, that's that's imp- I'd say that's impressive. <laughs> My mom did this, so I can do this too. Lamb's character. Mm. <laughs> I mean, Lamb Mage's character. Lam's oh my god, I'm the character of Lamb. <laughs> Sorry, Lamb's character. I'm confused sometimes. You, uh, what do you? <laughs> you was, like, well, was was Lamb actually smart? I, I, yeah, I, yeah, I, yes. I intended for him to be smart, like book wizard, smart. right? But he just yeah, rolled yeah. The, the low a lot. <laughs> in, yeah, yeah. <laughs> in skill, in ability checks, no, he he is book smart. That's it, not wise. That, oh, that, like wisdom is wise. Wise. Ah, yeah, yeah. Cool. like literal <laughs> book smart. <laughs> Bamboo book. <laughs> yeah, you were halfling, mm. right? Yeah, mangrove. I think mangrove halfling. What does the mangrove. what does the mangroveness of the mangrove halfling, which is in the una, by the way, give you? Just the you yeah. can swing uh, it on trees. No, no, no. Uh, it's far from that. You can. I think it was. You can use help action as a bonus action. <laughs> you just didn't it. do it. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> okay. Oh, this was uh, the other character as well. That. This was Lixi as well. It was just the. Oh, really? I think so. Because he was I doing like help as a bonus action eh, for the room. Oh, <laughs> Lam did it do? <laughs> but your Wait. scrolls are made of bamboo or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just like a uh, subclass in, in the wizard thing. Uh, oh, that's I, a Sinauna subclass. All right, yeah. sorry, I didn't read. Sinauna. I, I I read about it and like, oh, this is cool. I can write stuff and then people can use it. What if yeah, I the let Sinauna, Durog do this? The Sinauna stuff is generally more powerful than your typical D and D stuff. Super. So oh, like, is it? not choosing Sinauna stuff in this game, <clears throat> Jan, is actually. I'm sorry. <laughs> detrimental. <laughs> We're not talking about me here, okay? Because <laughs> all of the subclasses like are, are almost except for the fighter one. The fighter is kind of me. So then Kiana meets the the this group of swan hunters and just decides, I'm tagging along. What's up with that? And she's tagging along because she's weak. So it's like I need to be surrounded by strong people. Right. That's a lamb you... scene. That's exact. That's the lamb scene where like. The what scene? The lamb scene? No, because remember, lamb was like, you, uh, lamb was like, you, why are you tagging along? Can you even fight? And then, yeah, 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 yeah. Kiana's like, I can't fight, that's why I'm tagging along. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And that you guys sense. are like, sure. <laughs> no, but I guess been seeing them, that. seeing the group fight the Aswang, you said, okay, these are trustworthy people, I can hang out with them. Yeah, these are strong people. I'll be safe with them. <laughs> Not, I guess it's just less trustworthy than just she just trust any person. I don't know. Uh uh-huh. he is designed that way. But did you did you uh, design her to be like make her sound naive or or because she's from a small town, right? Yeah, it's still the same thing. She is yeah. naive because of that same reason. She's just a small town girl. What's that? <laughs> Trying to get copyrighted. What's, what's, that? what's that? Living in a lonely world. <laughs> but you didn't change the lyrics. May oh, change the lyrics. I'm, I'm actually the lyrics. trying to get copyrighted. You're okay. Sure, you're trying. He's trying to, get... to see if his acapella skills <laughs> measure up. <laughs> no. <laughs> They don't. <laughs> Spoiler. I mean, <laughs> no. <laughs> Spoiler. That drum scene 
was that I obvious was... to anyone? No. No, I was thinking festival. Yeah, but that's here. the that's the gen that's the generic. Kubaldi. No, because you you, you, <laughs> oh. you describe drums, and I was yeah. thinking ritual, like because you set it up the way you set it up was like this. It things felt different. Like yeah, this yeah. is the same place, but something's not right. And mm-hmm. then you hear the drums. I'm like, hmm, ritual shit, cultist shit. What is this? And I know, then, it's just the, the, the oh, difference oh, was <laughs> the difference is uh, urbanization. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess Kinda, so. Right? But it's just because the the reason why um, the reason why mud trails etc get mushy in the first place is because of people traveling through them. Yeah, because so, like, you step it, on the grass. You step on and the, it, and, and, it you know, becomes the, mud. Yeah, the, you you kill the grass, the the caraba, the tamaraws are heavy. They like eventually they they just turn the soil into mush. So it li- it literally is urbanization in a way. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then the, yeah. like whatever landslide would have happened there is also because of trees getting cut, probably. Yeah, that's literally the change. But that's also literally the beat that every Kubao Jeep uses. <laughs> Like every single one, but the, they have those like disco sounds, like disco soundtracks, right? Mm. Mm. Well, it, it depends. Like, cause before it was literally was dying inside to hold you in every jeep. Right, right. So, I remember. Yeah. I know that. I know. That. <laughs> before, but no. The, the the reason they make it the same beat is because the people who mix these songs are like canto the same mixers. People. Where where they're like yeah, yeah, yeah. it's it's a it's a guy with a with an actual like rundown mixer in, in the side of the road with a CD writer because mm-hmm. these mm-hmm. these people are in Cubao and they did they, they mix songs while they're selling and then when everyone when someone buys they sell you the like they they have pre mixed stuff but they literally work on the street so like they use the same beat so they don't have to work a lot because it's the same beat they just need to match and yeah. So it's a, right, it's right. a quantity over quality thing. But yeah, if you're curious, that's literally what all jeepneys have. <laughs> anyway. Were you going for a jeepney or or were you going for Tamara? You, you went for Tamara because of the animal, right? So, but it's I went for Tamara because it made sense. But <laughs> eh, but the Tamaraws didn't have the speakers. Yeah, they don't. <laughs> so I, yeah, yeah. So that's why we mixed it up. But... Because I could, we could have, like, you know, we could have went Jeep and then, like, what? Then what would there be? Like, right? Right, like, right, right, right. Like, silver horses with confetti <laughs> pulling them? That doesn't make sense, right? Uh, the Tamara yeah, yeah. made more sense. How big <laughs> is Taong Lupa? Because, like, I only, re- like, I only remember, like, going straight to the house. You didn't get to Taong Lupa. You were, like, outskirts of town. Oh, it was mm. so like you could see it. Yep. Like imagine you're like in Antipolo and you can see Metro Manila, but you didn't actually get Black to Metro Manila. Something like that. Well, you you weren't mm-hmm. necessarily from that altitude or anything, but something to that effect. Hey, Mage Zamboanga, cool, whatever. I, what, what's the Zamboanga equivalent of that? <laughs> <laughs> you can see Mage's face like, what's Antipolo? <laughs> I only know Manila. <laughs> Don't worry, Mitch. I was the same as you. <laughs> we'll tour you around when you get here in July. Yeah. Right? No, he's, he's, he, he's here actually here a month from now, right, Mitch? Maybe. Oh, you're I coming? Okay. I remember you described it as bigger than Kiana's village. Well, because, like, you know, like the bar is really low. <laughs> Yeah. Kiana's <laughs> village was like four houses. So this one is a proper proper town. Yeah, this right. is a proper and we, town mm, city. Uh... So we didn't go fully in. And it was nighttime when we got to that freaky damn house. <laughs> At the house. In the middle of nowhere. No. <laughs> what were we thinking? <laughs> It's like we don't want to talk about it. I can <laughs> feel it in the air. The, it's the what's, what? What was that thing? Um, you went straight even though it's night because you had a commitment to the to Janice. 
that yeah, you would yeah. arrive mm-hmm. that day. So you were delayed. So you would have arrived earlier if, if it weren't for the Tamarao situation. Like if you didn't mm-hmm. have to take a Tamarao and you, and you could have, you know, ran or something. Then what, we could have. But we needed oh, to take I think but we, we needed to take the Tamarao because of the terrain, right? So meaning if the whole mud part didn't exist, right. you would have So essentially that's why Lam miscalculated it. Because she he didn't account for mud <laughs> urbanization traffic. <laughs> <laughs> Like, how did Janice even get all those babies? Well, you don't know. Because we didn't ask. We didn't ask. So, like, everything we say is, like, it depends on what lore you're reading. But, like, in in some lore, like, their uh, Chanaks are not... They're not even possessed babies in some. It's that, like, they're... Or kinda, if you... Because they're like unborn fetuses that the de- mm. that demons, para like so you yeah yeah you can say possess except that when you say possess possess sometimes means like they're normal and then demons go to them right these are actually like they're unborn fetuses the they're so they're dead and then mm. the demons take control of their body so they're actually the 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 thing which they can just transform into baby looking things but they're actually demons all the time versus mm-hmm. normal baby that transforms up that gets possessed sometimes so it's i don't know do you call that possessed still it could be i don't know but yeah possession yeah, but of it, inanimate objects i guess what yeah because they're dead because they're already inanimate. dead they're counted inanimate yeah so that's th- well there i mean they're still they were still unborn fetuses so it's it's weird is the thing but yeah the story with janice uh is essentially she took care of one and then because that's how janox normally do their thing right they they pretend to be babies and like you know someone who had a miscarriage and then they go to that person and that person is emotional and gets that oh. baby which is the typical chan story and then the rest were like were, the rest were just like uh, that's what i mean does the other the swarm were just like oh this person is taking care of one of us maybe she would wouldn't mind also taking taking care of us of so, the rest yeah. yeah so that's what happened but like yeah to be clear they're not really babies they're just demons in China. baby i don't know why i don't know why no, when we that. shot that episode nobody wanted to say the word chanak i mean why why not <laughs> no i think it's just that no one no one was just sure if you knew or, or, or what, what chanaks were so yeah it's like not metagaming and um yeah and no one rolled for like no one asked like do i know chanaks okay roll history so yeah, like, yeah, yeah. it wasn't so it was never established that if any of the characters actually knew what chanaks were so that's <laughs> it's just that the players freaked out and we were like fuck this yeah it's it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's player that? panic where oh chanaks oh wait i don't know about this I, I do i wouldn't even ask if i know about it just kill them <laughs> <laughs> that is exactly it that's exactly what happened <laughs> Because oh otherwise, God. like you see a beholder, like you're like DM. Do I know about these monsters, right? right? right. <laughs> but like, oh China, oh oh, I don't know this. I kill it. Because <laughs> <laughs> we were like, right when you were describing it, we knew instantly, and we were like, no, nope, nope, no. But like, um, nope. when 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 you saw Janice with the baby uh, dude, like no one, no one got that. No I didn't one watch the it. movie. No, but like. A ba- there's a baby. No. Well, I didn't think <laughs> Chanax would arrive like so early into the game. I didn't uh, even know yeah. there would be a swung in the holes in Ona thing. <laughs> how how do you how, how? do you I, I knew it how? at the second game? <laughs> <laughs> like how? on on, on Kiana's Origins. I, I did not know anything about it. Like how? Wait, a swung? What? There's a swung now? Okay. <laughs> How? In in the episode prep, when JR was telling us, you guys, you guys make characters and you guys are a group of Aswang Hunters. <laughs> you, you did not 
<laughs> but I, I thought it was just like a one-time thing, and then oh, this is Sinauna. It's a thing. Like Sinauna is about a swamp thing. I thought it was just a one-time thing, right? <laughs> so what? What? What Philippine mythology creatures did you expect there to, if not a swamp? No, I don't know. <laughs> Ibong adar na. <laughs> Janice was carrying the baby. <laughs> we didn't pick. We didn't get the hint until you started describing the creature. I actually made it a bit easier because uh, we could have chose the so Janice, Janice. Yeah, uh, you could have said Janice. I could have said. I could have said Janice. I could have. Uh, so so the easiest would have if I said Janice. That's just like. You know, that's just a dead giveaway. Giveaway. Right? But I could have said that, but I'd said Janice, but I also could have said, um, and I forgot, but I researched it, her character's name in the movie. And if I used that name, that was, would, I don't even remember it now, right? Because like, who's going to remember that? So if I wanted it to be too hard, I would have de- said that. So I said Janice, oh. which, I, which I figured, you know, it's not, it wasn't pronounced Janice, so, you know, you might not catch it, but also she's carrying a baby. So like, you know... <laughs> I figured that he's one of you, but apparently no. <laughs> no, 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 man, no. All right. So yeah, cool. N- not until not until she closed the door behind us. Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but even when she closed the door, you weren't like you still weren't. Yeah, actually. Until you saw, because the baby was outside, because that was the if if she like threw the baby in and then closed it, then yeah, like oh, you know. <laughs> Oh God! Babies. Oh God! Damn. That's one thing I didn't expect Kit to do, like throw the baby Why? and transform midair. And transform know. midair. I, that's so I awesome. imagined her throwing yeah. it like a football. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> and then <it's> like spinning. Because <laughs> that's how you throw a football, right? <laughs> no, I mean I was expecting yeah, yeah, her but... to be some sort of powerful thing, yeah. and then eight to hit, eight hits. Holy shit! <laughs> 10 or something, whatever, small damage. Kills oh. her. Holy shit. <laughs> I was like, what? I didn't yeah. expect you to kill her in all of this. I time. didn't either. I was expecting it to be a long, prolonged fight. <laughs> I, I was thinking, I was thinking I'd have to tank her outside while the rest of the guys finish the swarm inside and by the time they get to me I'd be super bloodied I was like that's what I was expecting but I just wanted to pack her so that she wouldn't go after Kiana because we didn't want it to be the origin and finale you know I, I guess that kind of makes sense but like like when, when you were asked how did you wanted to kill her you could also you could also just said non lethal <laughs> yeah no bolt is five man <laughs> <laughs> Must kill. Let's just kill me. Um, actually, I don't remember why we why we decided to go to the beach. It was uh, sorry, I'm Jan's dream, something. Yeah, we agreed because you were going towards a place, and then uh, the beach is along the way. Yeah. It was also right. kind of like, like Lam also knew it was the safest, safest. place in the area, like versus. Safest. Versus up on a hill, a mountain where a swang might turn up. Mm. Babies. And we didn't want to camp out right at that spot because we burned the place down, right? Yeah. Without also looting. Like, <laughs> also, like, you know, a swang and like beach, yeah, yeah. salt water, stuff like that. So, salt and right. Right, right. So, so salt in, in theory, like, a swang are not uh, afraid of salt, like, afraid, afraid, but they're also like, you're not gonna hang out near a beach, you know, like, like you may not be afraid yeah, of yeah, muggers, yeah. but you also don't walk around Capo with, you know, a hundred thousand waving it around, like something like that, something to that effect. Yeah, yeah, you know? gotcha, gotcha. So, so there. So wait, in Sinauna, it's, um, the, the salting of weapons is a thing, but is there a magical way to have it, have the effect of salt? Something like Permanently that? Salt? salted. Um, without they're, without they're, corroding your weapons or something. <laughs> no, no, because uh, no. If you're gonna enchant it, because they're immune, most have resistance immunity to non-magical anyway. So if mm. the weapon is magical anyway, then you know, you probably don't. You probably maybe you don't know. You probably don't mm. need to salt it anyway. 
So it's either you solve it because you're you're broke ass, or you know, buy a magic weapon. <clears throat> But yeah. it sounds fun. Salt damage. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or or the DM can just drop us a magical loot. You know. <laughs> Salt. Covered in salt. Well, well, wait, some, one of you already has a magical weapon. <laughs> right, right, right. Hey, hey, hey. Kiana started, uh, you know, small talk and mm-hmm. wanted to, wanted everyone to know wanted to know from everyone how they got like their their powers their and powers. stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Except your, <laughs> except on the dur- Except no, he she, she didn't the, know that the rog wasn't magical. Like as far as Kiana is concerned, muscles could be a buff. some form of magic, yeah. like a buff. Yeah, right? so. <laughs> oh yeah, it was actually so, interesting if she would have uh, like she could have totally okay. I'll become a cleric instead, and I was thinking about cool. that. Hala, but hmm. hala. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking Did about you? that because, like, she had the most conversations with Pangil the most. Yeah. I was thinking, oh, maybe she's not gonna go no, down no, that path. It's and... also not that. It's also not. Not only she had the most conversation with Pangil. It also was like because you can't be a you can't be a wizard. It takes too long. You can't be a sorcerer because you you're not, and you know so like. To her, the only options would be even, even actually, even being a cleric is kind of also not within arm's reach. But as far as she knew at that point, that was the only option. So it was mm-hmm. on the table. It yeah, was, was and Pangil video. made it sound like Pangil the way Miggy played Pangil. It, he made it sound like it was within reach because he was like. Just At least you know to pray. But yeah. but Hala be praised, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Every but Hala be praised. That was, that was hilarious. Yeah. So, so was what was like, what was Kiana been... thinking? Mm. The, power was, like, Kiana? the power of prayer. The power of prayer is strong. What were your What were your impressions of each one's like advice or something? Um. Well, she like threw. Uh, My just suggestion on that, like she can't read. I'm sorry, <laughs> so no. Pass it to Batala. I choose the prayer. <laughs> yeah, you did pass me to Batala. Like, yeah. Okay, maybe, maybe it's not for you. <laughs> But she could have, like, she could have. Um, it would, it would have been too late to learn to read, mm. right? Mm. It's right. too. It would have still been doable. It's just that it takes. Longer, like you're looking for Super. a mom, which might be dead, as far as you mm-hmm. know, right? At the time, you can do like firebolt. Yeah. <laughs> Probably take you like a few months to learn firebolt or something. I don't know. <laughs> or to read. What are we? Next? So months to read. Oh yeah. But so yeah, but hala, but hala was the only way. And then when you stepped out, that's when everything looked familiar, as if it was in your dream. So, what were you? What was Kiana thinking then? I think at that point she was like, she finally found her mom. She really, honestly believed mm-hmm. that she found it. Um, but yeah. Then and then it, it and then the the creature changed. It it, it was changed. first yeah it, the, the it figure. Mm. Yeah. I guess uh, like she was thinking like if this person. Yeah, this creature probably knew her mom. That's why she managed to look like her. So, okay, whatever it takes, right? Also, so like that's what you clung to. It's like okay, this is a stronger connection to what I'm trying to do. Find my mother. So it's I'm going the only with this. connection. It's the <laughs> only. Yeah. Well, actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. the only. So, it's yeah, record. Yeah. That makes sense. And this is the fastest way to get power as well. So, mm-hmm. there is mm-hmm. that. Well, she didn't necessarily know that, but like, again, like she just she also just doesn't necessarily know anything. Mm-hmm. So, well, the the interesting part was Pangil tried to stop her, mm-hmm. and Ibu tried to stop Pangil. Stop Pangil. So it would. So if if 
Pangilo was able to stop her and like able to roll high, then it just completely changes everything. Oh. So that would have been mm. interesting. Oh well, I guess it's. I mean, this is all. This is all also interesting. But like, once the whole series is over, and then like you know you're looking back at it, and then you watch this video and go like, that would be different okay. if Pangil rolled higher, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah. Mm. The the actual fact, I don't think it happened at that at the beach. It might have happened somewhere after the group separated. No, it happened at the beach. No. Was it in the beach? Okay, it was. It that was part was that part wasn't clear to me. So um, when the group separated and you did like a test run, like a like a fight a test, like a, a test warning fire. warning shot on the on the tree. What was that like? Not a opener anymore. <laughs> I'm glad to finally like have my powers there. I didn't expect like I would test it out in that episode. Mm. I was thought it was gonna happen like the, ne- the next like I'd already have the power so that was a nice that was a touch I really enjoyed mm, okay so when when JR told you at the beginning you'll be commoner you thought you'll be commoner for the whole episode and you weren't sure yeah if you did it in the end yeah yeah All I right. mean I could have ended the origin story as a commoner in, suddenly in episode one maybe actual the actual episode one like I suddenly had right. powers or I'm still looking for something. It could have happened. Well, it could have happened yep. if Pangil succeeded. Like, who knows, right? Like, just yeah. that's not gonna be, you're not gonna, wouldn't have, you wouldn't be a cleric overnight. Yeah, Enjoy. it would have been years. That was my mm-hmm. other worry. Like, if I would have chosen cleric, does that mean she had to change her age and everything? Probably. Mm-hmm. It, it would probably take longer. So the rest of our characters weren't there to see it, but we were there looking at it and it was like, oh yeah, Eldridge Blast. <laughs> <laughs> so if anyone's interested in what, what Kiana will be up to, that's in proper season one. And we're uh, so we're, we're doing, we'll maybe do another or one or two origin stories. You don't know that, mm-hmm. but... If we do, then after the after those, then we will be showing like proper season one with everyone and their actual characters in game. So that's when you can catch everyone in game. Catch the show with the actual characters. <laughs> so um, how 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 was everyone like uh, like you know first episode season zero? How 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 does you know? How does everyone feel? I was ah. nervous the whole game. <laughs> even for even for when it wasn't your game, your character's backstory. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> I remember John saying it was extra when it was his characters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When it was when it was mine, it was. I felt the. I felt. Pressure. nervous about it for some reason but for others it was I don't know for the other for when I was a supporting character of someone else's origin story it was just like let's do this it's fun it's exciting it's, it's just, I want, no longer like, fun what, what's, <laughs> what's happening no I mean it's not fun it's, I didn't say it wasn't fun it's just yeah, that, yeah. that's all I was thinking about like, yo let's go and when it was my yeah <laughs> <laughs> But you had powers. Uh, for me, I'm happy with my origin story. Like I didn't expect that from her at all. So really happy with her. No, but like the game. The game. Uh it was hard. It was hard? It's not. Oh, because it was hard. Powers. I didn't have. So yeah. like. Not having powers. The two of us <laughs> not having powers is like. <laughs> but. Your stats were the same, right? Or were you commoner stats 10 to everything? Um, uh, stats were the same. Stats were the same. Okay, okay. So you could same. at least do like perception or, you know, you could at least roll. You know, any any stat yeah. that came with a class wasn't there. Like, for example, yeah. if you had, if your class gave you 
plus to intelligence for whatever reason, then you didn't have it. Mm. Yeah, that was it. Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, it was just the race. Okay. Yeah, essentially. Mm-hmm. No, it's it. Yeah, yeah, actually, yeah. Just, just your race. Race whatever background. Race. Yeah, yeah. Background. Um, yeah. So yeah, I was very squishy that episode. But you ran forward anyway. <laughs> she doesn't know that she's squishy. <laughs> she could have died. But <laughs> no, because like if if the if the <gasps> Malakat attack rolled the natural twenty and just you know rolled really high, then you know what are we gonna do? She, she <laughs> dies. She dies. Uh huh. Then so, we yeah. you know. roll a new character or we shoot uh-huh. another episode. <laughs> <laughs> it could be like that. Could be an episode. <laughs> okay, that's the origin story. The end. <laughs> I'm thankful for Pangil. He just kept healing me the entire time. He did have a cleric, but also he was level 2. He didn't have Revivify, is the thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But he had heals. He had heals, so. He had heals, so it's also fine. Which would, which would have been what he would do anyway in that situation. So it wasn't like yeah. they were, like, it wasn't like everyone was specifically trying to keep Kiana alive. It's just that any everyone would keep anyone there alive mm-hmm. yeah yeah oh um, the music background was really good when i saw it when i watched it um yeah it was i, I it, it was it kept the mood going i don't know what, how to describe it it was i like the background music and i got feedback about the background music also from friends who watch it they they liked it too it added to the whole Thing. Oh, those do do some people play D and D without? Oh, some people play D and D without music. I just realized that. Mm-hmm. I just realized. Or that. the music choice was not so for others isn't as great. But it's also I think not the choice hard, of music like, that because we... you like you just go to YouTube and like for for home games, you know, if you don't play your games with music, oh. just go to YouTube and type. Especially for home games where you're not worried about copyright. You just go oh. to YouTube and type adventuring music or whatever yeah. and, you get, and you get good music. So it's like, if it's like, yeah, something you totally don't do, then just consider doing it because it, it adds a lot. And then like if you have dead music, you type coffin dance and then, you know, stuff like that, <laughs> which, which is what, what is I that? do. Oh, okay. I don't know Ow. what that is. Coffin dance, I mean. <laughs> No oh, he doesn't know it. Nope. Hey, TJ. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna Google it later. Uh, for for oh for for people watching this, by the way, the the prequel games are shot on online like this, but the the uh season one would be shot uh, in studio. So, hey, except for Mitch. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, even Mitch, he's gonna be here. He might be. He will be for a few games, I assume. Like he's gonna stay at, at for least the rest. Of six it. games, <laughs> which is like half of it. <laughs> Just like half of it. So anyway, uh, what else? I like the sea serpent part, <clears throat> like how it's slightly water. Is that the term? Watermarked or something? Transparent to the water. Because he, he was like an illusion to most people. So like, mm. like you weren't sure if you were seeing it or not. So, but yeah, mm. that, that's just really good. Yeah, that looked good. And, and it's not like it straight up just like Kiana. <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't know what just happened. <laughs> I, I felt like it just went up like from the from the sea and like faced Kiana and like talked to her. It kind of did, but not not, not like that. What, what I imagined <laughs> when I was doing that was, do you know the art for Shining Gyarados? Yeah. Uh, uh, I know Gyarados. <laughs> I don't know the art. The spe- there's a specific art for Shining Gyarados, which is like <laughs> yeah, like, like and then. But not that size, but like just coming out of the water and then like, oh, the, the Baonawa looks like that. Cool, let's do that. And then Kiana's just standing there like... <laughs> yep. Basically. Yeah. Not afraid at all. <laughs> 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 
She's not the she's not afraid of Well, she was she afraid of stuff? She was never afraid of anything. Just the when you threw the baby, uh through the Chana. That was it. <laughs> Yep. That was just like the only time he was afraid. Yeah, like, um, like not not afraid of a giant serpent, but like, China. Nope. <laughs> yeah, man, because those things are freaky. Really, I hate adorable creatures. <laughs> this is adorable. <laughs> hey, maybe it hasn't transformed yet. No, it was in the mid transformation. So, like, imagining that. So... <laughs> The, 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 something the, lovable no the puppetry for Chanak actually wasn't like the puppet like, what would the Chanak look <laughs> like wasn't no the, the so, sorry the puppetry wasn't good because the puppetry was like like that <laughs> what do you mean but, oh but, for the but, old movie for, mm, no but even then. even for old movies it's like when when it moved it was like someone <laughs> was literally doing this and, and it, it looked yeah. like it but the But the static image of the what the Chanak looked like in the movie wasn't too bad. If it's static, it's just mm. when it moves that it's like weird. <laughs> like literally someone playing with the dog. Okay, here's the Chanak. <laughs> <laughs> like in my head, because back then when you watched it, then you didn't know any better. Maybe the maybe it really just moved like that. So you know, so it's easy to imagine if you actually watched it. I have. Was it Does anyone? Even, I, I think I think it's a good movie. Maybe it wasn't too bad. That's I actually here. don't remember if I watched it or not. I remember seeing a lot of the trailers, and I remember seeing a lot of the video clips later on. But I actually don't remember if I watched it. Probably because it's like it's like know. it's like Star Wars, where not everyone watched Star Wars. But a lot of people, you at least know who Yoda is or something, right? So something like that, mm. where you you might not have watched Chan. I don't even remember the exact plot. No, I'm kidding. I do, but still, I mean, like a lot of people won't. But you know, but yeah, yeah. Yeah, the trailers and people talking about it. You know, you know the catchphrase. You know the yeah, yeah. The other thing that people ask is how is recording for stream compared to home games to your home games? I don't know. I I don't really see there is really much difference because I'm just focused on what's happening. I don't see the audience. Yeah, so that is a big aware. deal. Like, like if you're if you were if were, if it were in on stage, like you know, if it were in Araneta doing it live, <laughs> then yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> but because it's just. Either we do it in studio and it's just us, or we do it online and it's just me in front of a camera talking to my computer. Then mm. I don't feel the pressure at all. It's we need yeah. to make this a thing. Hashtag Rorubkul Araneta. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'll make I'm not just sure apply for okay that. that. Why? Oh, for <laughs> sure, I will. <laughs> No, because that's, that's 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 always been that, that's always been. As I just said, it's in front of people. That's ah, when okay, the pressure. Because okay. <laughs> that's always you been a joke, happen. especially for musicians. Like when you when you come up in stage, even if it's yeah, a, yeah. especially if it's like a small venue with 10 people watching, you go up to, you go up on stage and like, "Hello, Araneta." <laughs> that was yeah, the joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, Still, so anyway. even, actually, even even in. Even when you do like the karaoke or something. <laughs> okay, it's not just my net. Some people they just. <laughs> oh, sorry. Hey, you're good now, but you did the okay. you did the gulapa. <laughs> What? A dante gulapa. I, I don't know who we're talking about. The guy, the match dancer guy. I, I don't know that. How, where have you been? <laughs> anyway, um, after this, no Google Dante Gulapa. I don't think I want to. After all, how would you? No, guys no, no. Describe? You do, you do, you do, you do. Uh, anyway, right. um, how about you, Tish and Midge? Just the same oh, wow. as the home game. That's, uh, yeah. A uh, little better than, not better. Not also more pressured 
in 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 the stream games but there's a there's a, there's a small difference i i i don't think the I difference can... is minuscule yeah mm. but yeah, it's, there, the point, it's yeah, noticeable the, the point the point why i ask is like uh like uh, as with any D show people are gonna be like oh that's not how people actually play D D. that's that's that only happens in shows that's scripted uh, blah, blah 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 no <laughs> Just no, that's. I mean, we're not saying this is how you should play D and D, but like some people actually just play D and D like this, and you know. Yeah, yeah. I guess the difference is. Yeah, I don't feel the difference. <laughs> just that's my point. <laughs> I don't feel the difference while we're playing. I feel the pressure when I know it's about to come out. That's when I feel. Mm. No, no, but but my like point we, is like how we play as the we're game. Playing, how we how the yeah, game is played because people are gonna like the, there's the usual reaction now. Now people don't actually play D and D like this. You only play like this when it's a stream or something like that. I guess the the main difference oh. is. Oh well, I guess we cut it. Is the thing the 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 part that's shown? Like we cut the thinking and stuff like that. Just that, to make yeah, it the prolonged, the prolonged the, the lull, dead air. Like yeah, actually not even the dead air. It's mostly the the stuff that get cut are like when when people spend ten minutes laughing, which happens yeah, yeah, in your yeah. home game, right? Like we could leave that in, but like, do you really want to watch ten ten minutes of fun us to watch. laughing? <laughs> no, it's actually fun to watch, but it's also like you probably have better things to do with your ten minutes. <laughs> like you can. You can watch, I don't know, half of a Marvel episode. You know, you get the point, <laughs> right? Yeah, so, yeah. So like we we condensed it to show what's important in the story and all the shenanigans. Well, not all the shenanigans, just the non-essentials have been cut. <laughs> the major <laughs> actions. <laughs> What? But, but well, yeah, yeah. But yeah, to to uh to people, yeah, to people who think like you know, it's it's like just scripted content, like you know, it's just still it's still a D and D game. It's it's still just a D and D game. It's just that there's there's yeah, no so... overlays in your home game. That's the difference. <laughs> but but yeah, um, but but yeah, it's it in in its purest. Form, it's still a D&D game. You could watch the raw video if you wanted to and it would still be like if you're if you're a fan and you want and you and we gave you like the raw video, it's still watchable actually. Like except for the part where we take like 30 minutes to eat and pee as a break, you know. But but otherwise, you know, it's <laughs> to eat and pee. What? At the same time, <laughs> no, because when we take a break, some people eat, some people pee, some people crap. You know, yeah, not at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> What are you saying, man? I don't know. This is why the show exists. <laughs> oh. Is there any part of it that's technically scripted? Uh not scripted. It's just that for someone's origin story, you gave a hint on the supporting characters. Okay, play like a marshal or play. But like, that's that's you know, also that's that's thing. a kind of game because there are one shots where here are your characters, choose right. one of them. Right. So mm-hmm. it's still not like <clears throat> yeah, we're we're talking but, about but even. Even with the way we do it, it's not exactly a pre-generated character. It's just yeah. a nudge, not a guide. Uh, create something like this with this guy, and then you. Everything else is left up to the players, and then we come in and we don't know what the heck is your plan. Yeah, that's so. That's still a game. Like you can you can yeah. create a game and say all of you play wizards, which sometimes happens. There are mm. games like that. Um, mm. There is a game where they all played goblins in control, right? Like. That hap- that stuff is a yeah, right. kind of game. Um, but like no, because people will be asking if there are things that are scripted, and I don't think no, there isn't. But we do make the cuts sometimes, so it's 
so you don't see parts of like I don't know no it's just that a lot of like dead air and stuff not a lot like some of some dead air and some unnecessary um inside jokes and stuff like that are just cut mm. I mean we could leave that that could be a director's cut or something that we could leave in eventually if we ever if I ever go want, want ever want to go back to editing this stuff and make a longer form of it if if there's demand if there's like here's a kickstarter for ten thousand dollars release the <laughs> release the jr cut then yeah sure <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag release the JR. <laughs> Make it happen. <laughs> we we you the, the internet was able to bully a studio to do that with the Schneider cut, so it it can happen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so yeah, still still a D and D game, just with fancy cameras. That is the different one. That is the difference. The main difference. Like we have fancy cameras. That's it. <laughs> Not yeah. Mitch still has the 200 peso green screen from Lazada. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, <I> just... <laughs> if you guys want to sponsor the video, <laughs> please. If you if you want your company logo to appear here, and if you want us to do a funny skit with your company whatever i don't know this could be this could be your bottle drink that i'm drinking instead of coffee or this could be your <laughs> coffee or ale <laughs> or ale i should never oh. tasted ale like ale ale ginger ale but not like alcoholic ale yeah i don't know this is beer ale i don't know i don't know coffee <laughs> this could be your shirt <laughs> anyway yeah um we're gonna be doing these for the next um episodes so karim and then durden and then we'll be back to more origin stories because we didn't want to we didn't want to do episode rock tambayan episode rock tambayan because you know momentum but we also didn't want to do 10 origin stories if there were 10 characters who knows and then 10 rock tambayans because it's you know like it's gonna be 10 weeks before you see this episode like you know no so so that's why that's why does anyone want to say goodbye guys <laughs> bye guys bye. and that's bye. it we cut